Uh, in other news, uh, T1 has disbanded. I would not a huge surprise. I guess it's a surprise that they're not trying to build around Topson again because this was kind of like a last minute addition with him and Anna, right? So yeah, it's kind of a. <laughs> when I watch, when I saw this announcement, I was like, "Did you guys forget your fifth player?" But Topson was never technically in T1. He was a stand-in uh, that they used for TI. He was still officially with OG, I believe. So. On their thank you post to their roster, there's four players. <laughs> Wait, who are they? Rich they Lowe's said Thompson in the post, but he's not in the picture. Exactly. So they they say thanks Thompson for mm. playing with us, but they don't. He's not like officially part of the thank you picture. I Make see. Make up that what you will. He was he was with them at TI, and that was it, right? Yeah. Uh, Anna was officially signed, I believe. So. Uh, yeah, aside from that t technical difference, I think Topson wants to play in EU. I'm pretty sure he has made that clear, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, if that's the case, you know, there's a couple of potential interesting openings if you want to speculate there. Um, one that comes to mind is obviously Matu leaving Liquid because he's going... He's He said he's retiring. Uh, we'll see if that lasts. He has to go to military service and then maybe he gets the itch in there because he's like, you know, misses playing. Uh, and then when that's over, he might come back. I don't know how long the mandatory military service is in Finland, though. Uh, it might be a full year. It might be two years, even. I don't know. Um, I don't know who else would be appealing for Topson to play for in Europe than those two teams. And Liquid is obviously the number one working theory um, for most people because it's a pretty good fit. Mikke has played both carry and mid. Um, and Topson would be... In terms of like play style, I think he's the kind of player that those guys would want to play with because Liquid's games have always been a little bit crazy, a little bit wacky, uh, late game chaos, and he thrives in that, right? So mm. we'll see. Uh, that's my best guess is that he goes there.